You either have courage or you have bondage. Oh, oh, actually, this is awesome. yeah. oh yeah, I forgot. I'm a man on a Quite a lot I could understand, I learned and I could see the difference and all. Most people don't have courage. They don't know how to step up with courage. They don't know how to move to the next level with courage. So they have the bondage. If you don't have the courage to give a speech, you'll have the bondage of speaking forever. If you don't have the courage to achieve financial freedom, you'll have the bondage of finance forever. <laughs> If you don't have the courage to communicate and speak your expressions, if you don't have the courage to actually connect with people, if you don't have the courage to actually ask for what you want, you'll be in the bondage of having what you don't want. So I encourage you from today, have more courage, show more courage, practice it. Courage is something that you practice, it's just like the muscle. Uh, uh, uh. Just like the muscle, you gotta practice, practice, train, train, drill, drill, rehearse, rehearse. That's how you go to the next level. So practice courage. If there is a conversation you need to have with your wife, have it. If there's a conversation you need to have with your kids, have it. If there's a conversation you need to have with your boss, have it. If there is a conversation you need to have with yourself, have it. I encourage you, challenge you, dare you. Have the courage to practice a little bit more. Go for that. Go for that thing. Go for this thing. Go for that project. Go for that conversation. Go for that run. Go for that gym. Go for that practice. Go for that mentor. Upgrade yourself. Elevate yourself. Because remember, when a man doesn't rise, his manhood dies. When a woman doesn't rise, her womanhood dies. So courage versus bondage. What are you practicing today? Courage or bondage? I'm a man on a mission